Hi Sagittarius, this is your weekly day-by-day -day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week starting 28th of December 2020. We will have two cards per day every day of this week. So Monday the 28th of December for you Sagittarius and we have Queen of Swords. Tuesday, Justice. Wednesday, The Fool. Thursday, Five of Swords. Six of Pentacles, Friday. Two of Pentacles, Saturday. Six of Wands, Sunday. Your influencing energy is temperance. It means balance. With time, something will be all right. Something will happen or it will move on with time. Not right now. Wait, pause, uh, be patient. Something like that with temperance. And then Queen of Swords on Monday with three of Wands. Justice on Tuesday with five of Swords of swords this week is doubling and then the full with three of cups three of cups five of swords with the, the sun six of pentacles friday with four of pentacles two of pentacles with the hierophant six of wands sunday with six of swords now seven of wands with the temperance. You obviously did have some idea that was uh, very important for you. And you were talking about that, you were insisting on it. Uh, but um, it says be patient, don't desist much. Don't push this agenda so much. Don't push this opinion in, in such aggressive way. Just wait. It, it's not, there's no need for you to assert yourself in, I don't know, any sort of aggressive way. Doesn't matter even if you have a reason to do so. I mean, control yourself, be patient, it's not time for it. That's your into your influencing energy and that's how you came into this week. Now Monday with the Three of Wands and Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a character that I really like. It's intellectual, it's witty, it's elegant, it's uh, factual, but very caring one from person like that, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you can really hear something useful, right? Because it's going to be truth, it's going to be factual, it's going to be smart. So you like to have conversation, you like to have communication with that with person like that. And Three of Wands is you, you are standing with Three of Wands, with something that is new, that is foreign for you, but you would like to do it. And actually you are on it already, three of wands, some sort of endeavor, something, something that you are doing, you know, already turning back to something old, going for the new things, going for something that is foreign, for foreign land or whatever. I think on Monday, this person, this Gemini Libra Aquarius will be good advisor about that endeavor that you are on right now. That these ideas that you have, how to make your money, how to do your... Uh, I don't know, what career to go for. Um, should you maybe emigrate to another country because this person is watching overseas? You see what I'm saying? Whatever that your concern is, you've got a good advisor on Monday. Rely on that person that will tell you something very, very useful. It will help you to consolidate your ideas about how to move forward, what to do um, further. Because watching something that hasn't come yet, you are watching and expecting something, it hasn't come yet. So this person will perhaps be, um, will be very uh, beneficial, useful um, on Monday for you. Tuesday. With Justice and Five of Swords, Five of Swords on Tuesday, Five of Swords with Sun on Thursday. In these two days, you might deal with the very same thing, with the Five of Swords, um, energy that I really don't like. It talks about somebody who is mean, who is jealous, or another one who is hurt, offended, loser. You see what I'm saying? None of this is, is nice energy. Aggressive benefiting out of somebody else who is loser, uh, petty, 
miserable dynamics in this relationship. But that is something that will be on Tuesday and um, resolves, I think, on Thursday. Five of Swords with justice on Tuesday. There will be decision, but in a very unpleasant way. Decision will come. Um, maybe, maybe it's going to be considered fair. In what sense? Perhaps maybe just you, Sagittarius, you were hurt. Somebody did it to you, brought you down, was rude with you, was jealous, blamed you for something. Now, justice and fairness on Tuesday when you are coming full blast towards another. Same way. Vengeance, you know, um, revenge. You see what I'm saying? Same thing towards another. That kind of decision, that kind of revenge, that kind of, that kind of fairness. Because I think everything going to be just fine uh, by, the, by the New Year's Eve. Anyway, anyway, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday with the full and three of cups. Uh, that's some sort of celebration. The full energy in your environment is just being happy. Not thinking much deeply about your future or what it is, but just being happy with the moment you found yourself in. You are celebrating, I don't know, birthday party for some child, okay? Children's party. Or you find yourself with your siblings or, or with your friends. You haven't seen them for a very long time. And this celebration kind of goes to extreme. You know, you are overly happy. Um, brought yourself in a, this childlike mood or something like that. But by all means, Wednesday says celebration where you talk silly, where you just enjoy, where, uh, you know, you bring yourself to that childish mode or, or something like that. You see, very light energy with the Three of Cups and the Fool. All beautiful and nice and for no reason. For no reason. Just be happy, whatever. Now, finally, back to Five of Swords. I wanted to tell you, by the New Year's Eve, all these problems will be sorted by New Year's Eve. Uh, Sagittarius, because you do have sun card within yourself. That's friendship, that's uh, love, that's happiness, that's joy, that's party. All right, New Year's Eve, party time. And you are happy and you are all right. In your environment, five of swords, again, this energy of point fingers, jealousy, it is present in your environment, but it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother you. You are friendly. If that is the situation from Tuesday, I think it will be enough. You are happy. You've done what you've done. You think it's all fair, done and dusted for you. You will be enjoying uh, Thursday, this New Year's Eve, very much. Now, Friday with Six of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. It seems to me that somehow everything on this day is related to money, definitely. To your security, to your safety, some bills that you need to pay, some money that is lacking. You see what I'm saying? Something very basic is there and you need it. You're desperate to get it. And it seems to me there will be somebody to give you some money. And, and even not going to be asking this money back. Says it's, it, it's not going to be big money, all right? Maybe you need to pay your rent, something basic. Um, and somebody will come and say, yes, I've got money for you. Just do that and don't worry. That's your, I don't know, present for this new year. <laughs> but, the, but by all means, what you are in need and you will be in need in something that is very basic. And you will have helping hand. Somebody will be with you in need. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to be big money, but it will be enough to cover that what you need. Two of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant within you is um, very serious energy. Your beliefs, your religion, um, your family, your your I don't know, your marriage, um, universities, um, hospitals. Things like that. With two of pentacles, it seems to me you need to make decision. It's either you or somebody else. But you are the one who's coming with a solution. You are bringing solution for this two of pentacles. Because two of pentacles is it's a very short-lived energy where you are trying to juggle two situations, these two people, these two jobs, just because you cannot make decision. You know, that's that what you do. But soon, soon, one, one will be too much or if you're not going to like it, you know, one will drop. You will stay with, you will make decisions. It's definitely with the two of pentacles. And the hierophant is within you. 
it's either that you are indecisive about something in your environment, but you will be wise then. You will follow traditional view, okay? That what, that what will be your base, that what's your uh, guidance is this traditional point of view, conservative point of view. You see what I'm saying? Something that is tried and trusted, you know, that, that you know that works for sure. That, that will be your guidance, that is your motive, that is your reasoning, you know, and they will be decision to make in your environment with these two pentacles, with these two situations. You could be, it could be that you are advisor, that this advice, it's not something that relates to you, but it's another person in your environment and you are coming with solution, saying just follow that what you know that works for sure. You know, don't, don't experiment or, or, you know, do something new or unknown or different or whatever. You know, go for that which is known that works for sure. That kind of energy on Saturday. No, no, on Sunday two six is six of one, six of swords. Lovely energy. I like the energy of number six. Bring some change. Very positive change. Both of these are saying it is positive change. Something that is your your promotion, some success. You are visible with six of wands. You become visible. Something that you've done successfully. You are promoted. You are by all means. You've got upper hand in something. You brought higher status for yourself. That is success. That is winning energy. That is promotion at work. And now we are talking third of January. Something very positive is happening in your life, and it makes you feel very good about yourself. It takes these worries away, all right? But it is promotion. It is something very successful, very positive in your environment. You will have it on Sunday, and and you will welcome it definitely because it's gonna bring some sort of relief for you from some burdens or some worries or something like that. By all means, it's a lovely Sunday for you. Enjoy it. So. Sagittarius, I wish you a happy new year and enjoy it.